I can get um shield for Prince here. You're about Trident Ultimatum. <clears throat> I like that. Polyria and Rivia. <laughs> wow, that's solid, man. Oh my goodness. Don't say Igni now. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, are you, are you watching this? Prince about to pop off. Don't worry about it. We got shield. Don't even sweat it, man. I could drown you in a single drop. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the nine. I'm gonna get it out of there. You'll regret your mom ever squirted you out. Oh, that's so good. Oh my goodness, man. That, that's beautiful. We're fully stacked. More of it. Can I I can't trigger Grace again now somewhere? That's gonna be eight. We got two? No. Just don't have Yurden. Hey, what's up legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. For today, I've put together a Northern Realms list for you using the new knight cards that have been released and revolving around the knight archetype. Now with this list that I'm showing you, this list got me to pro rank and it's one that I've developed myself. So I really hope it will help you rank up and do well for you as well. Before we get further into this deck guide, if you've not subscribed to this channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 6,000 subscribers and I'd really appreciate it. So the leader ability that we're using with this list is Royal Inspiration. Order, boost an allied unit by five. If it triggered an allied unit's grace ability, refresh the order and reduce the boost by one so really that's what you want to aim to do with this lead all right to get the most value out of it and replay it as many times as possible you're definitely going to be looking to use it whenever it can trigger an allied unit's grace ability usually what i like to do is kind of try to save the entirety of the leader for round two when we're playing out scenario because it can play for a ton of points at that time but you know round one if you need a few points to help secure round control um, using leader ability once doesn't seem so bad to me. So stratagem that we got here is Crystal Skull. Boost an allied unit by 4 and give it fail. We have a number of engines in this deck. So feel free to give one of those engines Crystal Skull when going first. It could be Redanian Knight, for example, or you might want to give it to the Squire. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card, when to play it during a match, and after that we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this deck. So to begin with, we're going to start with the bronze units at the bottom of this list. We've got two Redanian Knights in this list. Barricade, ranged, at the end of your turn boost off by one, exposed, move self to the melee row, damage the highest power enemy meter by two, Grace 8, meaning when it reaches 8 power or beyond, that ability will trigger, boost adjacent units by 1. I think Redanian Knights are really nice to play out round 1. Good passive points can help us accumulate enough points to get round control. And we want to start building up that momentum early, so you want to play them right away for round 1. I'd suggest you can play them both out round 1 if you like. And just make sure before you hit that Grace target, you've got units adjacent to them to get that full value out of this card's ability. Two Centurion Knights. Um, if you deploy them melee road, damage an enemy unit by two. Death Blow gain vitality two. Grace six, boost self by two. So once again, you want to try to meet the Grace condition for this card in order for it to get the best value possible. Um, you could use leader sometimes 
to help this card get a boost as well to meet that condition these cards are kind of flexible <coughs> how you wish to play them out and it's going to be kind of match dependent how good they play out maybe you, your opponent has some lower power token units you can get the death blow on for the most part in this deck we want to try to use the bronzes to win round one then we have two squire units Order, boost the next unit you play by two. If it's a knight, also infuse it with at the end of your turn. Boost off by one. Squire's pretty good at four provision costs for what it can allow us to achieve later on through the order ability. There's a few ways we could use Squire. We could obviously <coughs> use it to help activate an allied unit's grace ability to get towards that. Also, another thing to keep in mind is that we're playing Prince in this deck. And in order for Prince to be able to duel, it needs to be inspired. So this makes Prince still good in this deck without um, having an inspired zeal leader ability or having to wait to play it on the range row. You could use Squire, use the order, and then the next play you do is play Prince, melee row, get zeal, and you can still kill something fairly well. <clears throat> so um, you could really use Squire as you like in this deck as you see fit round one it seems to be a nice card we just don't want to commit so much round one and still win that round okay moving on to purify a unit if it gets locked in particular i've got peller in this deck keep in mind if the opponent has a defender as well you could purify the opponent's defender and that could come in handy for us because we do have some control options in this deck you've got heat wave you've got prince and margarita as well so with Pella, keep it on you as you need to. If you're versing a Nilfgaard deck with a lot of locks, maybe you're going to want to keep this more so. Kedweni Knight, when played or summoned from the deck, boosts off by three. Always keep this card in deck. And there's two ways that we want to play it out. What I like to do is sometimes use the scenario card to get this card played out and it will play for seven points boosted and that way the, we're also thinning when committing scenario but in addition to that this four provision cost unit can play for a pretty good point slam if you go amphibious assault into it so usually this card will come out round two if we're playing scenario mad charge plays pretty good at four provision cost boost an allied unit by five give it two armor if it's a knight, also give it vitality too. <laughs> so basically what you want to do with this card is target our knight units. And one mad charge is nice because it can help get a unit towards the grace point to get some good value out of their ability. So nice to use any point really this card. I've got Vile in this deck. It can offer us thinning, increased consistency for our deck if our opponent has this as well because it'll get randomly drawn out to the field at the beginning of the match um in addition to that place for good value four provision cost eight points in total it does help in achieving grace too which is why i put it in this deck and additionally sometimes i like to play vial and float it and then you can it can help set up prince for a pretty good zeal play melee row next turn and you can get a pretty good kill with prince so save it for prince or save it for your grace units you can play it around one if you like knight errant pretty cool card basically it's just boosting itself for each adjacent boosted unit so it becomes a two point per turn engine um if there's damaged units next to it it damages itself as well grace nine give adjacent unit shield then infuse them with whenever this unit loses shield boost it by two um keep in mind knight can be pretty good to synergize with uh wind helm to give him shield if he loses it to keep it going and offers extra protection to your units against control decks um when you'd like to play them you could play one round one and i'd suggest the other one with scenario because scenario gives us a lot of value through its passive ability um boosting adjacent units when a, a one of our units uh grace is triggered so one for scenario one for round one more consistency fisher king playing this range drove play this round one move any card from your deck to the top i really put fisher king in here as a way to ensure we get damsel in distress because it is an artifact we need some way to pull it and it's a very important 
uh, powerful card of our list. So play Fisher King round one. Of course, if you have Damsel in Distress already in hand, you're going to go for your top end other cards that you don't have. Xavier Lemons to make our deck versatile and what it can do. Um, also, I've been noticing that there's a lot of um, Death Wish, Witcher Sabbath replay kind of decks with Sir Scratch a lot coming out now. Um, some Kiltalis decks, you know, they use Witcher Sabbath too. So I think maybe Xavier is good. Um, you can banish your opponent's cards from their graveyard and deduct a lot of replay value and pretty much stuff their whole strategy up. So with Xavier, um, it should be pretty consistent anyway. Just look to target your opponent's Echo cards or whatever your opponent can utilize from their graveyard later on during the match and use it as you need to. It's probably going to play good from round two onwards. So you're going to look to play this Meliro. Consistently banish a card from your opponent's graveyard. Cooldown one. We also have Margarita for more control. Zeal order ability. You can lock an enemy unit. Because it's an order, you could float Margarita if you like. You could just leave her on the board. Maybe play her behind Defender and float her. But usually you just want to use her right away when you see a good target to lock. So just some more control. For more consistency, we've got Knickers in this deck. Um, always keep Knickers in your deck. The probability of Knickers getting drawn out to the board increases with the less cards you have in your hand. Very strong engine, Windhelm. Shield at the end of your turn. If this unit has shield, boosted by two. If, if it reaches grace 10, um, you can activate the order to gain a shield if this card has lost a shield. So you can keep getting those good passive points going. Um, a bit susceptible to being weak because of this shield condition. Maybe you want to play this card behind Defender, but it can still be good if you play this with Knight Errant because you can consistently give it shield. You can use Leader to make sure it gets shield back through the order as well if it loses it. Round one or round two card, I'd suggest. Reynard, whenever you play a unit, boost it by one. Because of that, it makes sense to me that we kind of want to use Reynard early on in a round when we're looking to play him. Grace 12, order, boost all boosted allied units by one. Really what I think is this card would play best behind Defender um, with Scenario. Where we've got all our Grace units together. I think it can really make our deck pop at that time. So more of a round two card, but can play a nice round one as well. The Maiden Shield. I do like to use this card as a final activator for Scenario and just to really make sure we get it to Grace 14 at that time. So it's a shielded unit, Grace 8, spawn this unit that you see here on the right of this card. It has this ability, as you can see, you can kind of go over that if you like. Um, what we want to do is ensure we activate this card's full grace out, get it to grace 14. So the way we're going to do that is use mad charge on it from scenario, and also look to use your leader ability on this card. Um, grace 14 just allows you to boost this card up too. And then allows you to use its order. Infuse an allied unit with whenever this unit receives a boost from other abilities. Boosts off by the same amount. Deathwish locks this card. Vandergriff. It's a unit that has resilience and a shield. When it reaches grace 12, gain resilience. So in my understanding, basically you want to play this round one. You get resilience and you want to go for two resilience carryovers with this card so in round two you want to hit its grace and it will gain resilience again which is pretty sick i like that aspect of this card so look to play this round one usually um when your opponent passes play it because it's safe to last not get removed um play it towards the end of round one when you've got no more plays left play it late Defender's in here really for round two. You play Scenario behind Defender, all your important engines. It protects all of those um, items. Prince. I mean, um, Prince plays best range through because he'll get a boost if you play him that way. But um, because we don't have Inspired Seal as a leader ability, uh, we can't exactly play him easily without defender we don't really want to float prince he's pretty susceptible to removal you really want to use prince right away for the most part you're going to play prince melee row in this deck 
But rest assured, we've got a few ways to set him up. As I said, you've got Squire and you've got Vile to boost him up. But if not, you can play him ranged row and maybe greet him with scenario and the other boosting strategies and get him real tall. And just a nice piece of removal for us. Heat waves are very consistent at this time. Look to target your opponent's scenario cards with this in particular. Of course, you can always use this to remove a resilience unit or a very strong engine. Damsel in Distressed scenario card. Progress whenever you play a knight. Summon a bronze knight from your deck to this row. It's going to be that Kedwani unit that I showed you. If not, go for a grace unit and bring it out at that time. Whenever an allied unit triggers grace, boost its adjacent units by two. So bear in mind card placement and um, where, what kind of cards you want to boost with your card placement, maybe to activate grace. Chapter one will be continuously triggering. triggering. That's a passive ability of this scenario. And the final chapter, spawn and play mad charge, this card here. Give that to that unit that I showed you before, the maiden shield. Okay, I like to play scenario out round two and kind of push really hard with it. Amphibious Assault, Echo card, play it twice. Play a Northern Realms unit from your deck with a provision cost nine or less. Go for whatever you need, really. Um, sometimes this could be really good to get Defender if you missed it. Maybe to go for Vandergriff when your opponent passes round one. Or to give you some good tempo in round one that you may be missing. That's the list. Now let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck. What you want to do is round one, try to win just by using some good bronze engines and try not overcommit too much. I like to play both Redanian Knights, Sintry Knights, Squires. Um, you can play Fisher King. You have Knight Errant to consider. You could use Vile if you want, Mad Charge. And play Vandergrift maybe one of these two as well let's hope that's enough to get round control what i suggest with this deck is you can pretty much bleed and go for 2-0 of this list um if it's not a control heavy deck you could just go for a long round three because we've got very strong engines but if it's control heavy just bleed open up with defender play out scenario you want to play out your grace units knight errant Raynard and use maiden shield as the final activator for damsel in distress and then what you're going to do is use your leader ability at that time offload it push in hard if you can 2-0 go for it if not um and you're able to go for a short round three and you've got good cards left over do that maybe you could use aa onto something to get a good boost maybe you got vandergriff for carryover in a short round three uh, and just use whatever else is remaining it's the strength of this deck is that it's engine based so typically you'd want a longer round to get engine value right but sometimes that's not always good when versing a control list so the way you're going to play it it's according to the deck you're versing thanks very much for your time and support and hope you enjoy the following matches maybe you should just went for a bleed against me or something Yeah, because he could have reserved it. It can help for a bleed too. Because if you look at your points to that time, it wasn't necessary, was it? What do you think? They going first or me? I am. Okay. It's invigorate. You like this? Discipline shall bring us victory. Yeah. Um, but you know I got control in my deck, right? So maybe it's not a good idea. Like I got Prince, I got a lock, I got heat wave. So if you know I can there's a control deck you're versing, better just go bleed in around two. Get that stuff out of them or or try to avoid a long round where they can set all that up. It's harder to play into. The Dark Knight Rises. Mate, you got all the coolest quotes, bud. 
I hope you don't charge me for using them after the stream. This moment, I've seen it already. <laughs> Down with a mirror. It's pretty cool, I like it. It's very interesting. I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, I know, she's always hit me up with the quotes. We'll probably do a few more matches and I'm gonna swap to Harmony after this. We know, we know. It's Batiste. Go ahead, feel it. Wait, what? What on earth? Did he just say harmony? <laughs> That's what you're gonna say, right, bud? You're typing it right now as I'm saying this. <laughs> I bet ya. I bet ya I've predicted. Yeah, you see? I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got two decks on stream mode. We're gonna do a double upload later. We're going all out, baby. We're going for it. Catch your answer, Rush. Take care, my friend. What's this one do? Play a bronze unit from your hand. Cooldown seven. Doesn't seem as scary as the other ones we run into, does it? I could still play this, probably. Long sword, back sword. Army sword, bastard sword. <laughs> I'm giving back to the Gwent community, mate. We're going up four points per turn, yeah? I like it. They're gonna break shield with the four, most likely. Should. Oh, lock. The order on the 11 is gonna be super strong here. Do I need to use it? Yeah, we we'll use it. Right. Don't have tall punish. Yeah, you should um, watch back over it afterwards, Ritzy. <laughs> yeah, hilarious, bird. Now nah, keep going, don't stop. <laughs> yeah, good, good. Okay. We're in a good situation here. We got a resilience unit down. It did gain resilience there, so I can't use that aspect of it, can I, next?
How does that work exactly? Can I keep gaining it or not? Nah? I don't know. I'm still experimenting with that aspect of that card. I'm still learning it. We have everything, I feel, pretty much. I don't want that. We're just going to go all out. AA for what? For Eren? That's it. Prince can go back row. Okay. So the resilience only triggers... So the second it reaches Grace, that's it. It's done. I can't use that ability again, right? So it's done. I can't do this again. I think it would do great because there's like heaps of control. Yeah. I reckon if you go like um, my old trap decks with Venosio and stuff, they'd kill it now. The only good dwarf is a dead dwarf. So this can go to five. No, it would go. Yeah, it would go five, wouldn't it? Hey, what's up, Zero? So are you? You get resilience back? Wait, I can keep going multiple resiliences. I could do it again if I grace 12 now. Is that what you're saying? So if I boost this for four more points, I'm going to get resilience. This is what you're telling me, good sir. Long live acceptance. Here come the points. So multiple times, but that's it. Okay, so one time. All right. Just one time. I'm still getting used to the um, the term grace and that how it works with some of the units. What the hell, Witch Apprentice? I'm just trying to think ahead a bit here. The positioning of the cards. I want to do this. The great Redania, oh, from the mountains to the sea. Again. I can get um shield for Prince here. You're about Troydam Ultimatum. <clears throat> you like that? For Lyria and Rivia! Wow, that's solid, man. Oh my goodness. Don't say Igni now. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, are you, are you watching this? Prince about to pop off. Don't worry about it. We got shield. Don't even sweat it, man. 
I could drown you in a single drop. <laughs> We're gonna kill the nine. I'm gonna get it out of there. Oh, that's so good. Oh my goodness, man. That, that's beautiful. We're fully stacked. Can I... I can't trigger Grace again now somewhere. That's got to be eight. We got two. No. Just don't have Yurden. Don't have Yurden on you, alright? Just do me a favor and don't yearn me. We're saving heat wave for whatever they're buffing oh, in their hand. My coins ranked. Go kiss a dog and it gets tight. Uh, and well, you know what? Locking the ten, not so bad. What do you guys think? Or we just go all in here? We just go for the point slam. Scare and scatter the locks. Oh my gosh, that is some ridiculous points, dude. Going up by four points per turn, yeah. Oh. Aye, aye, soon as I finish my pipe. That's crazy. That's some crazy points. Nah, no chance, eh? Hey. Oh, they, they came close. I'll give it to them. They came close, dude. Hello. Probably push it away. <laughs> Nick is isn't good. Uh, we'll have a look. Nick is definitely not good to pull. We'll see what they're boosting with stratagem. It's probably just the boat that damages melee row locked unit, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. We could lock it. Maybe lock's not so bad. Yo, what's up, late? How are you? You're the first one in chat today, my friend. Yo, it's good legend. You guys are legends, mate. Guys, I got a special treat for you today, right? Yo. I'm showcasing two decks to you, okay? I've built two different lists for you. We've got Knights and we're playing Harmony today. I've been working hard over the weekend. Let's give up now. Hope you'll like it. I, I love playing Harmony. Jeez, it's really fun. I've had a lot of fun with this list I put together. Yeah, yeah. I'm planning on doing a double upload later today. I've never done a double upload, so I'm excited. So yeah, you guys are getting two decks today. That might even be amusing. I don't know how we're gonna go here, guys. This, this control is a bit concerning. My hand's not the best here, really, for this. I guess we just play it out. Intra! 
You think it's the f funniest? Gonna spoil you guys. Forest, what's good? <laughs> Forest law. We gotta pass, my friends. We gotta pass. No chance here. Yeah, we out. Suresh, what's going on, buddy? How are you? Welcome, friends. Gather around, gather around. Not much, not much. Same old, how about yourself? Definitely gonna put Nickers away. It's not bad. That's it. Nice. Alright. Let's see how we do here. You reckon they just pass? It's gonna drag me into deep waters, long round to control. <clears throat> Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Very spicy. Have your water on standby. Well, this is a shielded unit. And where do we roast stack? Maybe I go about it like this. The arts are great, huh? They probably just pass, yeah? I love it. That works so cool, man. They're gonna use leader or what? I think it's passing. Plays on. Yes, yes, it's so Try to avoid the cataclysm. There we go. We're waiting for your appearance, sir. Nice to see you on the field. Go and annoy the opponent for us. Distract them. It's too much for me, Forrest, alright? We want a relaxing stream full of winds. We don't want to see all this heavy control right now. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Ritzy? Yo, Ritzy, you won't believe it. I got two decks for you today. Two. I know. That's not common for me. I've been working hard. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be playing Harmony after this as well. I got Harmony and Knights. I'm doing a double upload. We're going all out. We're, we're going to bring up the KG army to the max. Plays on, okay. This is very interesting. Opponent wishes to play on. Better try to get card advantage at least, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Having that boat um, on the melee row is a bit annoying because kind of messing with my boosting messes with prints. <laughs> it's gonna be one big stream condensing two decks. 
Uh... Oh my goodness. This this is not good news, friends. This is not this is not the best news for us. I feel we're having a hard time here getting anything going. Boosting by five. Nah. That's a tough match. <laughs> the psychological damage is the most threatening one. Uh, let's see. What's the grace? Six. For the queen! Is it fine like that? Alright. Somehow we got out of it. We got four points to carry over. It's it's a pretty tough match, isn't it, my friends? Any any kind of control deck's gonna be hard against us. We're more engine heavy, you know. Uh do I want to we probably do want to use this for Prince. Bloat this. No. I don't think I want that. Wow, I didn't get AA. <laughs> How do I do it, man? I literally just said I didn't get AA and then I pulled it. I think if I just talk about a card, it comes up now. So let's just talk about good cards, alright? <laughs> Let's just start discussing some good cards out there. Please do that for me. And where do we want to stack our units? Shall we go melee row? I think this will just get killed right away at this point, so... Yeah, do like this. Oh my god, dude. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> that is freaking hilarious. Alright. Okay, so they've lost that. We could get Prince there. I think maybe we want to get rid of that. So we'll use Valda Boost Prince. And then we can still play him good. I mean, the dueling units, they play better in Inspired Zeal leader ability decks, but we're gonna manage somehow. It's got a knight theme to it, so those cards still fit in this deck. I didn't go for Salt Kirk. I initially had him in here, but um, I don't know. I just don't like the fact that he's an order ability and you gotta wait on him in this deck. With Prince, you can kind of um, compensate still because you can play him Zeal and still use him somehow with, with um, Squire. Oh, crap. So we do it like that. Kill that. That's it. So that's a good way to set up Prince. Good combo for us. I could get Knight Errant from deck with AA. Yeah, it's a great card. I like to play this as the final activator of the scenario, usually. Maybe I'm playing this now. Okay, 
Maybe they've missed some cards. Boost by four. Hmm. Well, believe it or not, this list got me to pro rank last night when I was experimenting off stream with it. So that's why I'm showing it to you guys. Oh, perfect kill. Oh, jeez. Grace Nyan. Your shield, sir. <laughs> you always try to make me um say some voice lines, eh, Ritzy? <laughs> Alright, so this goes to five. Four, okay, so we could kind of use it like that. Maybe we're losing a bit of value on leader. Maybe at this point we're just heat waving that. Are we? <laughs> Farming opponents. It's looking okay for us, isn't it? Women, children, elders. Feel my cura. Go on. They did lose value on leader, but um, do we have the points here? What's their final card? Is it Morkvag Lust? Okay, yeah, we lost. Okay, the final card pretty much won in the match there. So we just lost. The <laughs> we don't want to um, divulge into that kind of behavior. Uh, let's have a look. Maybe Pella's good against poisons. I don't know, do I need Xavier in this match? For what? Right, right. Blessing should be in order. Interesting. Wow, double leader spent already? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? What is going on? This tech never. Why, Constable, this is powdered sugar. Right. So it's boosting adjacent units next. Yeah. Long sword, back sword. Mm. Army sword, bastard sword. Cat spam, yeah. No more These are big cards to be getting out. Very big cards.
Best give up now! So they spent quite a few leader charges. They got the Poison Brothers out. Right. Living souls in your wake should ne'er day you forget your sin. Just gonna keep poisoning, huh? Too much poison. <laughs> Too toxic. Right. So we will lose this next. Maybe we should prepare to pass on five. At least I'll have a resilience unit to kind of help resist bleed. What's up, Bird? How are you, my friend? Nice to see you. Xavier's great. Yeah, yeah. He's great right now. I think we pass and we got um, we got a resilience unit there. Hopefully it lives. Will it live? No, it doesn't. All right. They still have to play into the next round to make me go card down. You're gonna be here all night. I'm down. In all forms of night. <laughs> Even dress up like a knight if you want to, alright? We'll support you. I wonder what they're trying to do. They spent really hard round one. Very hard spend. No doubt, Bird. I'd agree on that. I'm gonna stay ahead. You shall never surrender. We have to stay ahead here. If they poison, I can just put defender down. Right. Okay. Yep. We put Defender down and protects the unit from getting poisoned, unless they spend right now. Oh crap, yeah, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> I really can't do much there. Pretty much looks like it, yeah. Golden, golden Nicker Salamander. So it's a one-time Salamander deck, this one. But they spent the Poison Brothers round one. That's a big spend too, you know. Hmm. It's 
Probably the maiden shield that I'm playing with AA, isn't it? Grace. We're gonna activate Grace. We'll go Knight Errant next. Play Mad Charge on it. Triggers Grace, boosting from the scenario, from the passive. We'll see. I will not let this become a second Sodom. Is it really? Bugged? Like in what sense? What happens? Please share. Oh yeah. Trigger- oh, is that what happens, like, before time? Really? Interesting. Go like this. Boom. Just hold it there. Still good here. Yep. Okay. That's a big freaking knight. <laughs> Yo, 35 point knight errant. Jeez Louise. Ain't no joke. Whatever I go AA into could be risky. I don't know. Let's do this. Let's see. Yeah, six points, six points. Okay, so I could get a lock there. I could get heat wave now because that turn actually. We can use leader on the three. Two. It could very well be the deal of a lifetime. Gets a spender. Failed experiment. Oh my goodness. So they have another... Yeah, right, right. Nah. 
I tried. <laughs> uh, right now it's half an hour until midday. How about you? Best commodity in town. I swear it. The control's killing us, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. If we can 